Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 29th of July to the 4th of August 2019 for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Capricorn. So we have five cards at the top all clarified by a separate Rider Waite tarot deck. We have the past, the present, challenges if you have any, advice from tarot and outcome. I've also turned over the bottom of the deck Capricorn. I've pulled an overarching tarot card as well and also a reading card too. So I'm going to read those now, Capricorn. So the overarching card that we have is the Eight of Cups. Now this is somebody who isn't abandoning one, one vision, one hope, one dream. Um, it can be a relationship also. It can be a job in some respect. Something is missing. Something is missing. And this person is moving on to feel to find something that is more complete in their lives and of more value as well. So for whatever reason, this hope, dream, vision hasn't worked out and they're in search of a new vision now. They're in that transitioning period to find a new hope, new dream, new objective, new goal in their life. Uh, it's a card of moving on. It's a card on... There's no point flogging a dead a dead horse in that respect. Um, that is kind of like a saying. Uh, because when something's gone, it's gone. When something isn't working out, it's not working out. And this person is now making that conscious decision, taking control of their life again in order to move forward. Um, Realising that whatever they had invested their time and effort in, hasn't paid off the way they thought it would so now is the time to move on okay um and we have action here as a reading card now let me just read that to you this is energizing effort willingness to work this card tells you now is the time for more aggressive forward movement the galloping horse is representing intentional and concerted action directed to your goals this card upright indicates that you are on the right track, but your determined efforts must increase. The white horse is inner action of spirit and thought. The black horse is the outer work that still needs to be done. So continue taking action and trust your intuition. In time, you'll break through and see the results you've been working so hard to create. Isn't that beautiful? So working towards a breakthrough, working towards moving forward, transitioning towards a breakthrough. Yeah. For some of you, it might be dawning on you. You may have sudden re realization that things might not change. Now we have the seven of pentacles and the four of pentacles as well. So pentacles can be everything that we need in stability and structure in our lives. So our money, our careers, our property, our immediate relationships, um, our possessions, all of that kind of thing. This person is frustrated um, with the seven of pentacles energy because it's taken forever to make headway in terms of material gains. Now, this could be, this could happen when you don't feel recognised in a job. It can be a time of frustration. It can be a time of, if you're in a business venture, you don't think that things are paying off. There is an element to this. It's sort it's Saturn in Taurus, so there's an element to this that the best things in life are worth waiting for. Um, maybe a breakthrough is on the cards, down the line. But... This is also a message about understand your failures and also understand your successes. Um, understand what's going to work for you and what's not going to work for you. Uh, and that's when these two cards come together. That's kind of for me what I feel it means. Because this four of, of pentacles, you can see they are over the heart chakra, the head chakra, uh, the feet as well in terms of moving forward. This is a guarded energy, the Four of Pentacles, because they've got a certain level of success. Now, this person is known as a bit of a miser because they're, they're in an uncertain world. They don't know what an outcome is going to be, so they hold on to their money in a certain way, quite understandably. Um, but it's that uncertainty that keeps you stuck. 
And it is about reviewing your priorities, certainly on the business and money front now, in order to really move forward. That's what these cards are saying. Understand what's working for you, but understand what you also need to move away from as well. So powerful energies and don't fear forward movement. Um, so that's the past position, Capricorn. So present position. Now we have a few cards here. King of Wands, we have the Page of Cups, the Three of Cups, and also the World Energy. So let's take these um, a bit at a time. We have the King of Wands as the key overarching card, or as the, the top card. So the King of Wands is a man of action. And there is something very much about taking action in your life to bring about positive change. He is a sign of success, real earthly success um, and power and authority and status, all of those kind of things. And I think that's what some of you are wanting to work towards. Um, because he's an opportunist, he grabs hold of his opportunity, this is his Ace of Wands, and really makes it grow, really makes it expand, understands how to bring success into his life. And he does it by taking action, but also taking charge of his own life in all aspects. There's a real confidence, a creativity, um, a... An initiator as well, an initiator of change, um, not being afraid to go into unknown territory as well in order to, to move forward and expand. Um, he's very fearless, uh, but yes, yeah, somebody who's very full of life, full of energy. This could be a person in your life. This is a card of Leo. Um, but it's also saying as an energy, it's time to take action. It's time for you to be the opportunist. It's time for you to see where your life is going, where you want certainly your career to go and to move forward, Capricorn. Allow yourself to see opportunities, grab hold of opportunities to move forward because it could increase your power, your social standing, social status, I should say, um, and just your success. Now, yeah, we have... The Page of Cups. Now, the Page of Cups is, it can be about messages. It can also be about psychic, intuitive messages as well. I won't rule that out. Some of you may well be getting some messages or some communication from somebody because this is also about communication, positive communication to move you forward, either to, this is the beginnings, the pages are generally the beginnings of something new in a court card. Um... This can also be a card of the unexpected. So an unexpected opportunity um, when you suddenly allow yourself to, to look at what's out there, to move forward, to have that fresh outlook, if you like. Um, this page of cups is somebody who is looking on the bright side of life as well. They're open to receive. Now, this is actually the Ace of Cups here. So they're open to receive love. So this could be an offer of love. Um, but also this can be um, an opportunity for you to reconnect with yourself in order to move you forward. And it might well be that as soon as you start looking at what's out there, start considering that possibility, maybe have conversations with people, then you may well take yourself by surprise. This is a card of surprise, unexpected surprise, unexpected offers. Um, yeah, so that could really happen for you, some kind of unexpected change, unexpected offer, things changing for the better, slowly but surely. And their celebration, this is the beginning. It kind of says the potential of the Three of Cups is, is the beginnings of, of reaping your harvest. Now, these three women... They're celebrating, you see this harvest on the floor. What, what seed has been planted, they're beginning to reap the rewards. And I think for some of you, it is about looking at different opportunities maybe. Really guiding yourself forward. There's an intuitive flavor with that page of cups in order to move forward to, to changing your life around slowly but surely. The threes are very much about the beginnings of manifestation. And this is that breakthrough card. Uh, the world is about success, achieving success. There's a promise of, of breaking through old restraints of the past, old limitations that you've placed on yourself or other people have placed on you. But your choice to move on is allowing you to break free. You see, this is the ring of Saturn. This is the Saturnian energy. And Saturn rules your sign as well, Capricorn. So there's an element here of... of 
understanding your boundaries and understanding how and when you need to break through them in order to really achieve, in order to move to the next level up. And because you're kind of ruled by Saturn as well, that planet of limitation, restriction, um, tests and all of that kind of thing, um, I think for some of you, this is about growth. This is about expansion. This is, again, breaking through, crossing that finishing line to the next level up. So the world is a real card of success, certainly monetary success. It is a card of endings as well, allowing things to end in order to allow the new in. And I think that's a key thing for you as well. Breaking free, breaking through in order to allow new things into your life and just allowing yourself to understand that you have everything that it takes to overcome challenges either internally or in your external world to really push through and end on a high. This is somebody who is making decisions um, to change their life for the better. Um, and that, that for me is, is very much that breakthrough because it's the internal breakthrough from within, but it's also, which is very much this card as well, this can be about connecting to you in order to move forward, but very much about knowing your power, knowing your opportunities and knowing your capabilities now. Now we have the challenge position, okay? We've got the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and we've got the Two of Wands. So these two are together on the first deck. We have the Two of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are getting clear on direction. Some of you are beginning under to understand that you are more powerful than you think, or that is your challenge. You have more power than you think to shape your world for the better. This person holds their world in their hand and he's making clear choices. He's choosing his path. This is a long term vision in order to move forward. This is life changing choices sometime, life changing direction in order to really achieve. This is the beginnings of, of taking your life in your own hands. Very much that King of Wands energy. And this is hard work. This is a Sun in Virgo card. Um, there is, you know, when you focus, when you ground yourself, Capricorn, when you allow yourself to show the skills that you have, certainly in the workplace, um, this is when you start getting recognised for for your efforts. Um, so this could mean new job opportunities, new career opportunities, new decisions on the career front maybe, in order to really be valued and recognized for the work that you do. This is somebody who enjoys what they do, really enjoys what they do. And I think some of you are making life choices now in order to enjoy your work, but also to be valued about valued it and be rewarded monetarily for the work that you do. Now this person carves that star on the pentacle and they're not just carving their money, they're actually slowly but surely changing their energy, their internal energy from within and really changing their life slowly but surely. So there's a wonderful directional change here, um, monetary change that could come to you. The six of pentacles, it is about giving and receiving. Some of you may well, when you're making these decisions, have to... Uh, listen to some honest advice. Uh, this is the Hierophant. This can be about receiving honest advice, being open to listen, as well as, as give advice. I think for some of you, this is about getting your life back into balance. Again, the sixes are all about harmony and balance by understanding where you're going. And you may well need some help. Um, there may well be, this person may well be responsible for the opportunity provided here. Um, so in order to bring your life back to a happier balance, in order to see more monetary reward, uh, this is a card of, of Taurus still. So the promise of real stability, success um, ahead, uh, getting stability and solidity back in your life, uh, material success, growth and material success in order to move forward. But there could well be some wisdom or advice that's imparted as well. And it's about listening to that. It's about listening to other people, not just thinking that you have to do everything on your own, Capricorn, um, because, you know, it's, it's kind of like there are people, certainly in some of you, with some of you, that care about where you're going. And it is, I think, some of you could do with listening to some advice or wise words in order to move on now and get direction in your life. Now, 
We have the Ace of Wands and the Tower energy. And this is the advice from Tarot. OK, the Tower card. I mean, some of you could have been through the Tower. I mean, this is the advice from Tarot, so it's not necessarily saying that it's there. Um, it's, it's saying that some of you could have been through real change. Some of you could have been through real upheaval. I mean, the Tower energy, you know, is that, that Tower is destroyed. And this Tower could represent your career, your money, your relationships, or all of the above, um, come crumbling down to the ground. And... That's where you needed to rebuild. There's, this was a square tower. This is your round crown. And it says something didn't fit anymore. And what, as soon as this, this tower, whatever it represented, was struck by the universe, because it wasn't built on firm foundations, it came crumbling down. So something wasn't built to last the test of time. Whatever this tower represented, it was there to align you to your true destiny. It was to, align, to realign you to your true path. And that is what the Ace of Wands is. It says, out of every disaster comes new growth. When things are burned to the ground, there's new growth that comes. There's new opportunity. There's, you know, uh, an opportunity to move forward. There's always hope in some way, shape or form. The Ace of Wands can be an opportunity. Now, that could be an offer or an opportunity in the career front, either business ventures, business partnerships, could be career opportunities as well. So an opportunity to be promoted in your current place or to go for a new job and be promoted there as well. Um, there's a promise of sort of real growth here. You see, this is the branches coming out of the Ace of Wands. They're sprouting. There's the beginnings of growth, expansion and um, success. Uh, and this is divinely guided. Both of these are divine action. So this new beginning is or new opportunity is given to you to realign you, you know, from what had to change from the past. Um, so it's a powerful energy there. Now, I will say this is the power of fire as well. And this is where fire needed to be released from that tower in order for it to be seen. I think some of you could have been hidden. Some of you could have been taken for granted in a situation I feel and this is where your light had to shine again this is the power of fire so it's a flaming energy and this is where this is the beginnings of your light being recognized I think in the workplace so powerful powerful message there Capricorn and um, yeah beautiful so we have in the outcome, we have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Six of Wands, and we have the Ten of Swords. We also have the Eight of Swords as well, so I'll come to that in a moment. There's Opportunity. That is the Page of Pentacles. Again, very much like that Ace of Wands in the advice from Tarot, this is the outcome. They're saying that there is opportunity to move on. There is the beginnings of something new, could be in a job, um, could be in a career, that can really pay you what you deserve. This is somebody who is planting seeds to reap the rewards long term. So there's real promise again of growth expansion here with this page of pentacles. Um, this could be somebody offering you a job. This could be a message or communication as well of offering you a job and um, offering you money of some kind of thing or a bonus. Um, so powerful energies there. But yeah, this is just could be changes in direction as well could be also going back to college some of you could be going back to study to get more money and um, the page of pentacles can represent that as well but it's where you're focused when you're focused you are really you really excel yourself and that's what the page of pentacles is saying when you ground yourself when you allow yourself to focus on one opportunity at a time that's when you really excel capricorn and you do there's an opportunity to put past hurts, past wounds, um, things that could have floored you for a period of time behind you and move on from challenge of the past. This is the victory card. This is moving on from things that would have been tough to get over. Now, the Ten of Swords is an internal energy. These dark clouds can be in your mind. This is when we keep ourselves stuck. This one is this when we're open to self-sabotage. But this is when, certainly with that action, your internal world, you know, healing your internal world, allowing yourself to move on from something and taking action in your life, this is very much that sun in Gemini, allowing that new day to dawn from within and pushing that dark clouds away. It's a 10. It's saying it's over and it's time to move on. Again, 
a wonderful card of victory so powerful energies there and with the eight of swords this is about not allowing communication other people interfering um people sticking the roar in maybe uh, also um negativity from within to keep you held to keep you stuck it's the time of moving on you see that is an eight to move on it's a choice to move on and to really allow yourself to be released from within and there's a kind of message here that certainly with this action card when you conquer your internal world when you get um peace from within you allow yourself to move forward in your external world as well and this is where we we all say you know some you know we can we all do it sometimes you can be you know when you've been through negativity you know we can all be trapped in our own negativity our own minds this is when your mind can be your best friend or your worst enemy and this is where it can be your worst enemy it can keep you stuck and it is about allowing yourself to move on from situations now and knowing that certain things are over certainly with that ten of swords and allow new opportunity into your life like i said break free make way for the new that's what i said with that world energy it's time for a breakthrough to break free very much with that eight of cups understand what's failed and understand what serves you well now capricorn and make those decisions accordingly and um, so powerful energies there i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.